Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I want to talk a little bit more about the web app today and some of what is going on right now with the FIFA 22 news with a lot of insane ratings being leaked, posted. We'll talk about that whole situation. And of course, the web app. A lot of people were misinformed about the release date of this web app. A lot of people thought it was going to be released yesterday on Wednesday the 15th. I don't think I ever expected it to be released then. If you watched yesterday's video about how to start FIFA Ultimate Team, I mentioned the 22nd of September. That, in my mind, has been the most likely date for the web app alongside of a confirmed date for EA Play. But I want to dive into that a little bit deeper today and again, just kind of quelch some of the rumors and you know put some of those down and just talk about this web app period a little bit more as well as some of the ratings that are going on and just what the madness is right now as we head into Friday. I think tomorrow and Friday is a big day because we hopefully will get pitch notes and that'll give us a lot of information on what's going to happen in this next week where we will be starting to get onto our ultimate team for the first time on that 22nd or maybe they're dropping the web app a day early on the 21st. I don't expect that but again let's talk it through. So first things first a lot of people there was many internet articles Dexerto I think Gfinity Charlie Intel even posted videos on their not videos but articles on their websites that the FIFA 22 web app was expected to be released on September 15th. Now, I remember seeing these articles like literally a month ago. They, these articles have been out for a while. And when you look at the calendar, the web app has always been released about seven or eight, maybe nine days before the actual full release of the new game coming out. So the full game release is October 1st. And for us this year, that puts that date to Wednesday, September 22nd as the date that we would expect to see the web app coming out. But for whatever reason, a lot of these guys thought it was going to be September 15th. I didn't think it was going to be there from the beginning. And of course, it is not out because as we know right now, that even the FIFA 21 web app is still up and running. I could log in right now to the FIFA 21 web app and control my FIFA 21 club. So one of the things we're going to be looking for this week to see and to get our first, I guess, glimpse or uh, you know, a little bit of information that the web app might be coming out soon is a tweet like this from Footwatch last year or just when you try to log on your companion app or your web app, they will take the old one down for maintenance, load in the new database, load in all their new features to that web app and the web app will be down for basically like a week. Last year on FIFA 21 at the start, they dropped the FIFA 21 web app on September 30th. You can see that on this 23rd of September, so a week prior, a week prior to the web app dropping, they took it down. So of course, right now we are technically a week out from when the web app should be dropping. It is not down as of yet, but I do think that at some point in the next couple of days, they're going to be taking this down for maintenance. They'll probably tweet it out. Maybe they won't. Who knows? Uh, and that'll be a big clue that the web app is coming soon. But again, I'm going to talk about this a little bit more tomorrow. I really think that these launch pitch notes that we get hopefully on Friday or very soon should give us a lot of information about what is going to be coming over the next week or so. Because again, you guys remember these from last year. There's a ton of stuff talking about early access, ones to watch. They confirmed some more players last year, uh, programs, icons, tons of information to talk about when those pitch notes do come out. So we're gonna be looking for the web app to be shut down and that will kind of give us, I guess, a little help of information, kind of a leading and knowing that the web app is going to be coming soon. But again, it just seems weird to have EA Play and they have the web app starting on the same day, but I think that is what we are going to have. I know a lot of people say the web app is always one day before EA Play, but in the past couple of years, EA Play has been released on a Thursday, not necessarily on a Wednesday. So we'll talk a little more about that time frame later on in a couple of days as we get closer, because it might depend what you do. If you can get on EA Access first or on the web app first, it just kind of depends on timing and servers and stuff like that. So we'll talk about that a little bit later on. But that's kind of the web app situation. I never expected it yesterday. I expect it on the 22nd, maybe the 21st. Those would be my two dates. If EA did want to do a web app starting earlier, that's kind of what I'm expecting for that. Now, let's talk about ratings because there's a lot of stuff going on, especially on Twitter at the moment. It is not all 100% confirmed, but 
There were some new cards released yesterday. These are all official. I believe basically the ones that are on Footbin are mostly official. I'm not sure about Goretzka and Godfrey, but there's a lot of pictures going around on Twitter, and we'll talk about that here in a second, of people that have links to a database, and yeah, it seems really legit, and the cards look pretty real, but... You know, it's not confirmed yet. So it does look like, however, that we are going to be getting a full database because if there's these groups and collections of players that somehow people in the in the world have attained and have put together, uh, you would think that there is going to be some sort of database release. So those rumors earlier this week that a database might not be released, I think those are kind of being put to the side. It sounds like we will get a full database per normal uh at the moment let me show you this really fast let me look up fiva 22's website and just show you this uh they are releasing ratings right now by league so yesterday it was la liga the day before that it was premier league today we'll probably see another league maybe the bundesliga or something like that as the focus and ea will tweet some of that out now guaranteed yesterday we did get some brand new ones to watch cards so we now have eight one swatch items that are confirmed. Lionel Messi, Wijnaldum, and Hakimi. Hakimi back-to-back -back years with a ones to watch card. But these are three brand new ones to watches that were confirmed by EA Sports themselves. They posted them all. So Messi and Ronaldo ones to watches. How crazy is that? We've never had a Messi ones to watch before, obviously. We had a Ronaldo ones to watch in FIFA 18, I believe. FIFA 19. FIFA 19 is what it was when he transferred to Juventus. And now we have another Cristiano Ronaldo wants to watch. I mean, Lukaku is already confirmed. Grealish is already confirmed of the eight cards that are confirmed. Again, it's, it's, it's looking like a really, really solid set of cards for ones to watch so far. So eight cards already confirmed. Definitely more are going to be coming out. But again, Messi, Wijnaldum, and the Hakimi were added today to the list that we already knew. So probably a few more of these, uh, maybe as we go into uh, today on Thursday as they're releasing another set of ratings per league. Maybe they'll show another ones to watch for like Bundesliga. They do Bundesliga. So we'll have to see. But again, let's talk ratings, right? Because a lot of people are on Twitter talking about these ratings and these cards that are being posted. Um, big information with this Goretzka card. I mean, this is one of the best I mean, this is basically like Baby Hullet already on a gold card. 81, 87 rated Goretzka, his lowest face stat being 81. Now, we don't have in-games for a lot of these cards yet, but absolutely insane looking card. Um, a really big upgrade for Goretzka. That card looks fantastic. If you take a look at some of the other higher rated cards that were confirmed yesterday, Memphis Depay, 85 rated. Didn't get an upgrade like a lot of people were hoping so for uh, with the year that he had last year. Frankie de Young, 87 rated card, looks really solid uh, with the dribbling and the passing stats that he has. A lot of people are pretty pumped about that one. Um, I think that Alejandro Gomez is a solid card every single year. He looks pretty good again this year. I think his pace is down, but still a solid looking card, 85 rated. And a lot of people are actually talking about this Jared Moreno, which to me is just SPC fodder. But this is still an item that I think people will maybe try out a little bit at the start of the game if big and tall strikers, not necessarily big and tall, but you know, more of the less mobile strikers or um, just somebody who's got a powerful striking boot and a lot of finishing is overpowered in this game. This Jared Moreno would kind of fit that bill. So uh, it's going to be SBC fodder at some point. But a lot of people are talking about that Moreno card and the massive upgrade that he got. Sergio Aguero with a confirmed card yesterday. Massive pace downgrade. Just a big downgrade overall for Aguero. Uh, kind of sucks to see it happen. But, you know, it kind of makes sense. Uh, in that right as well. So those are all the confirmed, basically confirmed ratings. Now there was one more, and again, same thing with Goretzka, it's maybe not 100% confirmed, but this Ben Godfrey card was being tweeted out by a lot of people yesterday as a confirmed rating, and look at that, that look at that card, bro. That's all I'm gonna say. That card looks nuts. 83 pace, 82 physical, 76 defense. A lot of people are gonna think of like FIFA 20 Joe Gomez when he was 80 rated, right? With these sorts of stats, a great starter level center back, probably gonna be 10, 20, 30 thousand coins right away. But I will say this: all the stuff that's happening on Twitter today, we are seeing some crazy 
crazy levels of stats. Now, again, what I'm about to show you, you can only take with a grain of salt because technically it is a leak, even though it could be 100% legit and 100% real. These are still only hype, right? So all based on hype and hearsay, nothing is confirmed by EA Sports. And that is what we if I'm going to show you something that is not confirmed, I'm going to make sure that I tell you up front that it is not. And this is not confirmed by EA Sports yet, but we will see when we get the database. A lot of this stuff that has been released before EA has confirmed it has been spot on. But take a look at this LaCroix card. 88 pace, 80 defense, 77 physical. Again, just a continuation of a massive upgrade of pace to these cards in the center back position. And Baba with 88 pace, again, a nice green link to that LaCroix card with the Wolfsburg links. Klosterman is another center back item, 85 pace, 82 dribbling, 77 physical. There's cards all over this game that are being quote unquote leaked, quote unquote, I guess, uh, released and ratings that are being shown um, from these different websites and lists that people have that are supposedly from the database. Uh, and that's where all this is coming from. But if these cards are real, it's insane, right? And there's going to be so many center backs with high base card stat of pace starting off this game that it's ridiculous, right? So, I mean, you, you go on Twitter right now and you see that Weaver and Donk trading were, were guys that were tweeting out a lot of these yesterday. There's a lot of information just all over Twitter. And again, it's fun to read through and fun to look at. Semedo, 80 rated, right wing back, right? Lozano, 81 rated with 93 pace. Lindelof, Ibrahimovic, right? Some skill move in a weak foot. Four stars, weak foot, five star skill moves. Now, Donk tweeted out yesterday that Sonaldo is no longer five star, five star, even though, and he makes a good point here, Son will not have five star skills. Uh, he was shown doing a five star skill in the FIFA trailer, but uh, that dream is now quote unquote over as he says. So again, what I'm saying here again is that you just have to take all this with a grain of salt. It seems really legit. It seems really real because they're pulling up these stats from whatever their source is, pulling it up so quickly. Um, and from what they've shown before, it has actually um, been correct. But it's just kind of interesting. So take a look at Ed Weaver. I mean, Isak, right? Take a look at uh, these accounts if you want to kind of read through them. But again, just a grain of salt. We're not putting all of our... Um, we're not basing everything on this until we see that database come out from EA Sports. But again, with this information available, it does make you think that possibly by the end of this week, we might have a database to look through, cards to look at, and stuff like that. So I know that as you guys are really starting to prepare your starter squads, um, what I'm kind of using as a general rule of thumb is when the cards show up on Footbin, they're legit. Foot win, foot bin, foot whiz, wherever you're looking right now to look at your legit cards. I believe that foot whiz doesn't have any of these ones that are floating on around Twitter. Um, if let me double check that just to make sure latest FIFA 22 players. Yeah. So none of these sites, I mean, foot whiz isn't even putting up Goretzka and, um, Ben Godfrey yet. So just again, stick to these websites to know what is basically 100% confirmed because these guys will be spot on like 99% of the time. They will only be posting cards that are confirmed 100% with their stats and nothing that is just technically hearsay, even though it does seem very legit. So again, take all that with a grain of salt, but it is very, very cool to look at some of those cards and get excited about some of those ratings that you do see and some of those cards that are popping up on the timeline. I'll show you a couple more here really quick. Kula Bali with a nice pace upgrade, 81 pace, makes him look really usable, right? When before he wasn't necessarily that usable, 87 defense, 85 physical, you could pair him up with Scrini R in a Syria back line if you wanted to. Of course, Godfrey and Gretzka, Muriel, 89 pace, 87 dribbling, 83 shot, another Syria card. Abamyang with 89 pace, a big downgrade. That was a card that was talked about a lot yesterday. Inaki Williams with 94 pace, 78 dribbling, 79 physical. He was an expensive card last year at the beginning of the game. Uh, Bruno Fernandez, technically, from what they're saying, has the most in-game stats. So again, that does like a, look like a pretty nice card, a big shooting and passing bo uh, boost, I think, for Bruno. So we're, we're taking these with a grain of salt, but it is fun to look at. And again, I wouldn't stress about it too much because on Friday, if we do get a database, then we're going to be getting all this information anyway. And the minute that we get on the web app, 
all of this hype and all of this leak kind of stuff is going to go away because we'll be on the game and doing all that sort of stuff. So it's nice to have. It's cool to see, but it's definitely not confirmed just yet. And that's what I wanted to talk about. There's just a lot of rumors going around. So there's going to be a secondary upload today at some point about how to use your FIFA points because a lot of you guys probably got the ultimate edition, right? A lot of you guys probably got the ultimate edition of FIFA 22. You pre-ordered it. You get the ones to watch player, the FIFA points, the foot heroes card, all the loan stuff. So I want to talk about how those FIFA points are going to impact the market when they are released, which is going to be on the early access date, not EA play. Early access is when we think you'll be seeing those FIFA points because that's going to impact the market a lot. It really, really is. So that's going to be an upload coming out later today. If that has any interest to you, make sure you check that out there. Uh, that'll be on the channel today. So that's the video for today, boys. Again, the web app is not released yet. It was never going to be released today. Watch out for the FIFA 21 web app going down. That will be a clear sign that 22 is starting. And we'll kind of follow this rating situation uh, as we get closer and closer to the end of the week and closer and closer to the 22nd, which is the day we know for sure we're going to be getting on FIFA 22 with EA play for the first time. So one less day, boys, one less sleep until we get to FIFA 22. If you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Foot Account. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.